this is asked in companies like you can see amazon has asked it 58 times facebook has asked it 23 times google 21 times in the last six months you can understand the importance of these problems right there are tons of dsa resources available in the market right now an equal number of dsa tutorial videos on youtube but very few of them talks about the different types of patterns that exist for a particular topic everyone talks about solving 500 to 600 problems from lead code or geeks for geeks but trust me i want to send this message loud and clear that the number of problems you've solved is not going to be a big deal more than the number of problems what is more important is that the number of type of problems that you have solved right so the more the type of problems you have solved the better the chances that you are going to crack that interview so in this video we are going to exactly touch on that so i am going to pick up a topic which is very very less talked about that is the problem on intervals very few are making videos on that i mean there are some tutorials but no one really talks about the patterns there are a lot of videos on dynamic programming there are a lot of videos on graphs as well even i have in, when i have covered my graph playlist i have also talked about multiple patterns uh, you can find that in probably fifth lecture of my video anyway i am going to make another separate video dedicated to finding out patterns in graphs like given a problem how would you understand that uh, what type of pattern it is so i'm going to segregate it out for you so that you are able to form a mind map 99 percent of the times in the most product-based company interviews you would be able to uh, map a particular problem to a particular type but there might be some uh, cases where you have that the problem will be really ad hoc and your problem solving skills will come to play but again that would be very very rare according to my experience so in this video as i said i'm going to touch upon this problems on intervals and there are six types that i've covered why am i making a video on this as i said one it's it's very very less talked about topic because everyone is talking about dp and drafts and the second thing is it is like asked a lot in interviews at the end of the video i will show you a problem that is asked by google very very frequently for the past six months probably if i've gone to lead code discuss you would find this problem a lot asked in google and we are going to touch on all of these so i will like you will also understand that there are a lot of problems that guests asked in amazon facebook microsoft as well so again this is a very very important topic problems and intervals i'm not going to give you a lot of problems on this particular topic i would just give you different types okay and if you solve these types trust me it you would be fine o obviously you have to understand uh, each and every problem so that given a new problem on the similar type you would be able to apply it don't mark things up again you have to understand this problems the intuition thoroughly i'm not going to explain you the problems in depth over here uh, that's that's not the you know idea of the video the idea of the video is to uh, make you comfortable with the different types of patterns that exist so if this video receives a positive response from you guys i will make another video on some other topic concerning the same thing i would be segregating segregating out uh, different types of patterns for that particular topic now let's jump on to the video right okay uh, by the way if you're new to the channel i'm riddhi datta i'm a software developer at amazon and also have a graph playlist you can go and check it out i also have a low level design playlist i'm already working on uh, these two playlists you can also follow me on instagram if you want to connect with me for one to one and also you can check out my telegram group where i post hiring updates whenever i come across any we are an active community around 25000 subscribers so i would find both the links of instagram and telegram down in the description down below now let's continue with the video okay so the first type so the first type is the merge sorted intervals problem i have attached the problem link as well uh, so it's, a, it's it will open a lead code uh, problem link so this is a very, uh, very easy problem and you might expect this problem getting asked in a lot of companies. Uh, basically, uh, you would be given a list of intervals and you have to merge these intervals uh, and you have to merge them in an non-overlapping fashion. So you can go to the problem, you can understand. I will just give you a brief overview what you have to do. So basically, I've also prepared a note-like structure so that, you know, no, not only this, this will help you uh, to, you know, understand the different type of patterns that exist, but also it will help you to revise as well once you once you sit before the interviews and it will really help you in topic-wise revision as well, okay? Uh, so don't forget to share this video among your friends and colleagues who are preparing for interviews. Okay, so this is the type one where basically, as I said, uh, you have to like, there would be a list of intervals and you have to like sort, uh, uh, you have to basically sort this intervals and merge them as well so you have to further so the basic idea is you have to sort according to the starts and then you have to just merge using using this formula start less than equals to previous uh, end okay the current start less than equals to previous end you can go to the problem and i am very sure you would be able to solve this uh, then comes the type two that is inserting a new interval in a sorted interval so this is an extension of this type one problem it's slightly tricky than the uh, first problem but again it's on the easier side i would say so basically you have to for this problem you have to find the index whose start is close or exactly equal to the start of the new interval and then once you have found out that point uh, then you have to do similar to the merge sorted intervals problem so again solve the this problem first and then it is a slight 
modification of this type one problem, right? And uh, this is this is again uh, an easy easy problem, I would say. But again, uh, there that it can get tricky if you haven't solved this problem before there are a couple of edge cases you might missed so the main part of this problem is understanding this finding the index to start is as close or equal uh, to the start of the interval right and mostly you can use some um, array list to solve this problem again i'm not going too much deep into it because these are fairly trivial problems and i'm very sure that many of you have solved it okay now coming to type 3 things get a little bit interesting so type three involves two formulas and these are two very, very important formulas that you have to remember. It's again, you can take some examples and you can figure it out yourself. I'm not going to again explain these two things. One is the, how can you merge two intervals? I one and I two. Let's say you're given two intervals, I one and I two, and uh, you know the start and end of both these intervals and you have to give the uh, start of the merged interval and just uh, like the and end of the merged interval so basically whatever is the merged interval of these two intervals you have to return that particular merged interval so basically you have to return the start and end and that is the formula of this uh, similarly how can you find out the intersection of an interval right so let's say there are two intervals what are the, what is the intersection of those two intervals you can find out using this uh, particular formula again these are very two very important formulas so you can probably uh, take some examples uh, in just in case if you're confused but again please please remember these two formulas uh, and uh, this is a problem that you can solve. Uh, it was asked in CureFit. Rachid Jen talked about this problem in one of his YouTube videos. And from there, I got to know about this problem. Uh, he got asked this question in CureFit. And I'm very sure this is asked in a lot of other companies as well. So if I open this problem, probably uh, you can see that it is asked. It's Again, it's, it's a little bit, uh, I would say, medium, medium problem. Basically, it's a medium problem. But you can also consider it as medium hard. But for me, it was a medium problem. I would say it was asked in Facebook, Goldman Sachs, Google as well. Uh, in the la last six months, Apple as well. So you can understand it's an important problem. And uh, like this, this uh, requires you to know these concepts. So uh, definitely go and learn these concepts and th then, you know, you can try out this problem. Again, this is another type of problem. Now, tie four is the most important pattern of these series, a very, very important pattern. And you must and, and you can expect a one of one question uh, from this topic, right? And the best part is very, very easy. It's very, very easy. Right. So one problem is minimum platforms required. Okay. And another similar problem is meeting rooms required. So if you solve any of the two problems, right, for minimum platform required, I have like uh, linked. Uh, so there's a mock interview that I gave on Kirti's channel and Kirti asked me this question. So basically, if you go through this video as well, you will have an understanding of how, how did I solve this problem? Uh, and also you would understand the explanation as well. So basically, once you go through this uh, video, you would understand that how this problem is solved. So basically, you have to separate out the start and end uh, of both the intervals and you understand then you have to like for perform a kind of merging, right? As you do in merge sort. So it's very simple. And once you get hold of this idea, you can easily solve this meeting room required uh, problems as well. So if you see, if I open this uh, problem link, you can see uh, just to show you that how important these problems are. These, uh, this is asked in companies like you can see Amazon has asked it 58 times. Facebook has asked it 23 times, Google 21 times in the last six months. You can understand the importance of these problems, right? They're getting asked in uh, companies. And again, these are very, very easy. I think this is one of the most important, one of the most easiest pattern. Because see, type one and type two fairly sim look simple, but that you might get stuck in a couple of ed edge cases, right? Again, they are still simple, but in type four, you just know the concepts and it's going to be very, very easy for you to solve during the interview. Cool. So once you know, once you solve any of these two problems, the other problem would be able to solve very easily. And there are a couple of other problems that you would find easy as well. Again, this is a slightly tricky problem. Find right interval. Uh, but again, it's on the same, same page as well. So again, uh, I, I, am very sure that once you solve the first two problems, you're going to solve the third problem as well. See, I'm not giving you much problems. I'm going to, I'm trying to cover different types of problems so that if you face other problems on the similar type, you would be able to solve. Right. I personally feel from one particular pattern, if you solve three or four problems, you don't need to solve more problems because then it would be repetitive. I mean, you can solve, but just to be smart, I highly recommend you to solve more and more type of problems, more and more patterns of problems, solve three or, four, three or four problems on each individual pattern. And hence you would have a more broader understanding of each of the topics. Right. So that is my go to mantra. But again, whatever suits you. Anyway, uh, coming to this type four is done now. So coming to type five, it's very similar to type four. And I've given one problem that is the employee uh, free time problem. But basically, you have to maintain a balance factor, right? Uh, between the end and the starts. Okay. And basically you have to find out the gap between intervals, right? So there, there are multiple uh, coinciding intervals. You have to find out the gap between intervals. So that is type five and carpooling is again, a very, very important problem asked in a lot of companies. So carpooling is a medium lead code problem. And again, it is like, it depends on this. It falls under this type basically. 
uh, where basically you will, give, you will be given a capacity, right? And uh, within that uh, a time frame, there will be different intersections and you have to find out that whether your car has the capacity to take so many passengers or not. Again, you can go to the problem and you would figure out, right? Uh, next comes the type six, which is the hardest version of the series. And again, uh, Google's like very commonly asked interview question in the past couple of months fall under this section. So now let's say that when there are queries for multiple insertion of intervals, like we saw in the type one and type two, there were only one intervals that was getting inserted. There are multiple queries that are coming and there are, and based on the queries, there are different intersections that are happening. So this type of problems I have already covered in my, my calendar series of problems. So there are four videos. Uh, where basically for the, I think for the my calendar two, I have covered two approaches here. I've linked only one that is the boundary count approach. So my calendar one is basically, uh, again, very similar to the type one, but, uh, uh, the, obviously the implementation is different because now there are multiple queries. Uh, so the implementation, simple implementation one won't work. You can't use an array list. You have to use a tree map for this. And uh, also, uh, please note or take, uh, take note of the functions of the floor key and the ceiling key as well. That is very specific to Java. Also take the corresponding, uh, functions for C++ as well. So you can go and go through the videos, uh, my calendar one, my calendar two and my calendar three. I have covered, uh, this, uh, you know, I've covered this from, uh, scratch. I have like, if you, op if I open this, uh, you can see that right now there are ads running, but yeah, I have, I have like covered this, uh, three, uh, problems extensively. So I think if you go through these problems. Uh, you would understand and you have a fair understanding that how to solve this type of problems and once you have seen this uh, three problems, right, then you can uh, uh, Like try out this Google interview question, which is like a very very frequently asked Google interview question for the past six months uh, I have pasted this question because I think it's a uh, lead code premium problem And that is the reason I don't didn't want you guys to get stuck So that is why I've also pasted this question on the doc as well So you can go and try it out. So yeah, that's mostly uh, the different types So I have covered around six type of problems in this pattern if you have more types you can comment down below uh, But I think these type of these uh, these six types will be more than enough to crack interviews of major product based companies 95% of them and again, if you have liked this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. And also, if again, as I said, if this video receives a positive response, I will make a new video on a similar video, actually on a new topic. So do comment down below that. What is the to other next topic that you want to see? And having said that, I will see you in the next video. Again, don't forget to follow my Instagram. Don't forget to join my Telegram group. You will get all the links in description down below. And again, I will attach a lot of other useful links in the description. So don't forget to check out my descriptions. Uh, having said that, goodbye and stay safe.